80s. That's what we're going to be seeing for the next couple of, in fact, all the way through the 4th of July. But then things are going to heat up. So we look at what we can expect for today. It's going to be sun and clouds, um, gust to 20 and 81 degrees. Periods of sunshine, some cloud cover coming across. Most of the clear mild tonight. Temperatures down to 56 degrees. Again, variable clouds. Um, satellite and radar showing that cloud cover that's moving around. So we're going to see that moving in around. Looks to go to the south of us. <clears throat> also to the south southwest of us is that high pressure and that dome of heat that's going to be coming in. So it is going to be a hot start to July as that makes its way in Wednesday, Thursday. Now we see it come ashore and really push through Northern California, Nevada, um, areas of Oregon and Washington. Certainly hotter to the south of us, but we're going to have that heat coming across and then that's going to come in and sort of sit down and we're going to see the western U.S. all the way up to B.C., all the way potentially into areas of Alaska, southern Alaska, getting very warm. So we look at the forecast radar, we see sp sp uh, pockets of just isolated quick showers moving through the area. Tomorrow that's going to be north into the mountains. And then Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it's going to be dry. Things are going to warm up. It's going to be pretty nice. Um, we'll see the continuation of that Wednesday evening into Montana as that system continues to exit. And it'll be on the east slopes of the Rockies for today. We're going to have temperatures in the low 80s, 78 in Coeur d'Alene, but then near 90, Tri-Cities, Lewiston, and uh, even Wenatchee at 84 degrees is going to be absolutely beautiful. All right, your planning forecast, low 80s today, tomorrow, mid 80s on Wednesday, and then near 90 on Thursday with low 90s Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Sunshine through the uh, end of the week. It's going to be very dry. We're not expecting a lot of wind, but we do have an increased fire danger because of the dry conditions, so please... Be very careful as we get into uh, Independence Day, all right? I'm Mark Peterson, 4 News Now, the First Alert Weather Center. Hope you have a great day.